Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about the new data download that happened on the JP side of the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle. And uh, this is actually going to be talking about the new Super Lead Vegito and or Vegito Blue and the new STR lead for Rosé. Super legit, super hyped. I actually really, uh, I'm liking what's going on here. Um, a couple th there's a lot to talk about here. I'm going to try and keep this video short. I'm going to try and keep it under 15 minutes if I can. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. First off, shout out to the Reddit, to Zahal. I have Zahal's post over here by the JP Data download with all the stuff that's linked over to dbz.space. So go ahead and check out dbz.space as well. A whole bunch of good information. Uh, and also shout out to Qualis on Z. This is where I'm going to be getting my translations from. I have it open up on my other screen. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about it. We are getting a new Super Vegito Blue. We're getting a new STR Rosé. We're getting the Extreme Z Awakening for STR Broly, and holy crap, is he a good unit? Let me tell you, for those of you who don't have LR Broly, you have your replacement at this point. We also have a new SR Agility Super Saiyan Trunks from the future, uh, STR SSH, uh, SSJ Trunks from the future who gets a Doken Awakening. We have an SR Agility Zamasu and an Intelligence Zamasu that Doken Awakens, the Physical Android 18 Login Reward, and we have the STR Vegito SSR. Uh, we also have, let's see, uh, numbers 1 through 4, so the uh, Vegito and Rosé, are going to be released on the 28th, that's in 3 days, at 12 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Time. So that's on the 28th, the 28th is actually on a Thursday, so I'll actually probably be on live stream for that, so if you guys want to join me, I'll definitely be on live stream so that we can take a look at it. Don't think I'm going to summon on it myself, but it's going to be there. Uh, Android 18 releases on New Year's Day at 2 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time and 13 and 14 which is the str vegito ssr i'm pretty sure this is going to be the uh, the one that we got on global uh, we'll wait for this to load over here and that's going to be released on 110 or january 10th at three o'clock a.m eastern time we also get new story missions for the goku black arc is returning yo son goku and his friend return uh go yeah yo son goku and his friends return event is returning we have the LR campaign missions, which are going to be available. 100%ing the androids awards the orbs to use 100%, same as LR Goku, so you get all of them back once you put them all in um, at a specific time. Um, J JP in that space doesn't want to load for me. <laughs> um, Super Attack 20 gives you 10 Elder Kai, so if you want to use Elder Kai's on them, it's uh, you could definitely do that. LRing the androids awards Hercule statues. Early's Extreme Z Awakening beat the level, uh, be beating level 10 rewards one stone. Beating level 20 with a mixed Saiyan team rewards one stone and beating level 20 with a mixed Saiyan team in less than three minutes <laughs> rewards one zone, rewards one zone. Um, so yes, actually this is the same one we're getting on the global side. So don't be too salty guys. I know it's supposed to be a do uh, global exclusive. It was a global vote. Of course they're gonna give it to JP. Anyway, um, so far that's really cool. Also spending 120 stamina total between one five and one eight rewards a total of five stones. So we're gonna do a little bit of grinding at that point. All right, cool. So let's just go ahead and jump into the card analysis real quick. Now, if you guys want to talk about a team building guide, I will be doing that at a later point in time. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe if you're new so we can see everything that's going on. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. So we have Super Vegito Blue. We will be jumping over back to the Reddit to Kualasan's translations for all the information. So Vegito Blue, Technique TUR variant, power that even surpasses the gods. Leader ability, when your team has all color types or all attribute types, so you, you have to have a team filled with strength, agility, technique, intelligence, and physical, represented in the team that are all super types, then you get super type key plus three HP attack and defense plus 120%. I think that is an awesome leader ability. Awesome, awesome, I said awesome. Awesome, <laughs> massively awesome leader ability. Just because it, he's not taking the place, like so you can run a 50% lead Super Vegito in place for any of your lead your teams if you don't have one of the leaders which is really cool but at the same time it just kind of makes all the other leaders kind of like meh whack the fact that they did that makes it so that way you have to have one super type in each of each attribute in order to do this now i don't know if this means that that you have to have a technique other than him inside the team so it's like you have him and then you have to have one of every attribute on top of that uh, i don't know if you guys know let me down know in the comments below otherwise we'll have to wait for the actual card to get released for us to actually know that information um, i don't think so because i think he qualifies himself as a technique but it could kind of make sense because you have to have six characters he's going to be your leader you might have to have the other fives be one of each attribute type that's awesome so let's talk about it. So yeah, HP attack and defense was 120%, which is really awesome. 
Passive skill, high chance to get up to two additional attacks, and a medium chance that those additional attacks will be super attack. Attack plus 15% up every time he attacks, up to 150%. That is ridiculous. That is so ridiculous, it's not even funny. Uh, his super attack, Final Command Man, does immense damage and raises his attack and defense. So, Jesus, man, like, this guy is so OP when it comes to his super attack. It does not look like he does not, ha he doesn't have a counter. There's no, no information about him having a counter. So, that's a thing. So, unfortunately, guys, for those of you who are looking for the counter and for the debuff in terms of taking damage, that's not there. But I think he really makes up for it for his damage output. I just wonder how much he's going to hit for. Um, his super attack, final Kamehameha, I already said immense damage, raises attack and defense. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Warrior Gods, uh, Over in a Flash, Power Bestowed by God, Fierce Battle, and Fused Fighter. So that's pretty awesome. Um, he does not have Prepared for Battle, so that kind of like, limits him a little bit, but he's still good. Um, he's not horrible, but when it, well, that's, him losing that is not really wanted, really wanted at all. But it's not, you know, you can't do anything about it. Uh, pretty cool unit. I love, love, love the card art. It's freaking phenomenal. Personally, um, I'm a bigger fan of this card art. Um, he's, he's just like ready to pummel someone. So that's probably going to be on my uh, thumbnail of the, for the video. But that's awesome too. Charging up the Kamehameha is also always an awesome thing. Uh, next, we're going to move on to the Goku Black card. Look at that. He's so menacing in that picture. I love it. I like that one too. I think that, that artwork is a little bit was definitely more favorable for me. But um, yeah, this is his actual menacing look. So he has the same type of leader ability, but it's for extreme types. When your team has all attribute types, strength, agility, technique, intelligence, and physical represented in the team, and all of them have to be extreme, you get key plus three HP attack and defense plus 120% up. Passive skill is his own attack is 120% up, and extreme type allies key plus three and defense plus 50% up. He also lowers the attack and defense of all super type enemies. This guy's ridiculous in his own right. Yeah, he doesn't have that huge, nice buff that the that the Vegito has when it comes to 150%, but the Vegito does have to get um, up to 50, well, it's 15%, so he has to get up to 10 attacks before he's fully maxed out with his passive. Um, the super attack is called Walt of Chaos. Now, this is immense damage. For one turn, extreme-type allies get attack plus 30% up. That's freaking awesome. His link skills are Super Saiyan, Big Bad Bosses, Dismal Future, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, Nightmare, and Fear and Fate. So let me tell you, he is awesome on an STR Janemba team with LR Broly. So for those of you who have been waiting for a new extreme STR card, he's awesome. Um, yeah, you cannot run him as a mono leader, which kind of sucks for a uh, for an actual STR team. But if you throw on the Janemba for an STR team, you could have him on there. He links really well with LR Broly. Plus, he gives everyone key plus three. He's going to be really good for a world tournament if you're running LR Broly. Now, this doesn't really come into play because we also have the OG Broly we're going to be talking about in a little bit, but I'm just saying that Rosé allows for Broly to finally have a good linking buddy on that SDR team, and we finally have a new extreme unit that's really good for that team. Um, so that's freaking awesome. Um, the rest of them we're going to try and just uh, go through pretty quick because I want to wrap up the video, so that way I don't, you, guys don't, you guys don't have to sit through all through me rambling on. Uh, the TUR version of the Zamasu. Uh, intelligence to monster. His leader ability is extreme types, HP attack, and defense plus 80%, which is kind of whack. Uh, passive skill, reduce incoming damage by 40%, which is awesome. Um, and attack and defense up, depending on HP. The higher HP, the higher the boost. A max of 60%. So, that's kind of cool, I guess. His super attack is supreme, does supreme damage, and he recovers 7% HP. So, that's pretty cool, especially when you have the higher HP output. It's like Kid Boo Team, something like that would be awesome. Uh, link skills are Prodigies, Cold Judgment, Dismal Future, Godly Power, Power Bestowed by God, Fear and Faith, and Fierce Battle. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't really do well on a Kid Boot team, on a Mono Kid Boot team. So, that kind of stinks. I guess it's kind of cool because of his damage reduction, he's going to tank a little bit better. But, I mean, you already have Janemba, and then you have the debuffing of Buhan. And, I mean, Kid Boo is just a beast in himself. Everyone has HP regeneration. I kind of feel like them throwing him on there is just like a B-tier replacement unit for anyone that you would actually run on a mono intelligence team for extreme types, but that's just me. I feel like he's still going to be a good unit to run um, on a villains team if you're doing a centric Rose type of arc. You know, Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, Zamasu, stuff like that. That might be kind of worth it. But yeah, that's an overall unit. I don't think he's that great. Uh, I personally wouldn't want to pull him on the JP side. You know, I don't really, I wouldn't really have a choice if I pulled him. You know, because it's it's a unit and I don't have him. <laughs> but whatever. That's that's what that is. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about, let's go ahead and find the STR Trunks. 
Um, so STR Trunks is the last one on the list from the, in the translations. So this is him right here. Uh, it's kind of cool. I hate that freaking Broly vibe thing that he got going on over here. I like this artwork a little bit better. But uh, Trunks is here. Let's see what it's called. Unwavering Conviction. Leader ability, super types, ATP attack, and defense plus 80%. So it's just like the intelligence of Masu. Passive skill, reduce incoming damage by 40%. And attack and defense up, depending on HP. So it's pretty much the same damn thing. And um, I mean, I guess it's kind of cool, whatever. Uh, but he has a max of 120%. So that's a lot better uh, with a max of 120%. He, is, he could actually be really useful, I guess, on that team. Uh, at some point, I just wonder who's going to replace the OG uh, STR uh, Gogeta. <laughs> his super attack is burning attack, causes supreme damage, and for six turns, his defense is raised by 30%. So he's going to be tanking a hell of a lot of damage. So that's awesome. He has good link skills too. Golden Warrior, Messenger from the Future, which that one's actually kind of whack. Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Digital Future, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle. So he has all the basic links that you would want in a Super Saiyan, which is Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. Again, it's just another Super Saiyan card, so I mean, you can't really do anything about that. They're, they're there. That's all there is to it. <laughs> um, now let's go ahead and talk about 18. Man, she looks cute in that outfit. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Her leader ability is all types 8, attack and defense plus 30% up, so that's kind of whack. Passive skill, all allies, attack and defense plus 20% up, key plus 1. And own attack 8% up for every orb obtained. It's kind of whack. I guess she's kind of cool for a little buffer unit for all types because she is there. So I guess she'll kind of be cool for like an android team if you're trying to do something like that. But eh, outside of that, kind of whack. She does supreme damage. She does she does the Kianzan or the Destructo Disc. Uh, she has the Innocence, Twin Terrors, Android Assault, Battlefield Diva, Organic Upgrade, and Infinite Energy. Overall, really whack unit. She's a free-to-play unit. She does supreme damage. She can't be used in Prime Battle even though she's a free-to-play unit. So... There's really nothing great about her other than maybe the artwork because, you know, she does look kind of cute there. But outside of that, that's about it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about the two SRs now. Um, we have the Zamasu and the Trunks. So let's just jump onto Zamasu real quick. Uh, Zamasu, it looks like he's just a basic SR. He is extreme types, key plus one, HP attack and defense plus 25% up. Really whack leader ability, passive skill, recover 25% of the damage inflicted as HP. So you know what, that might come in handy on a Super 17 team because of the amount of buffs you're getting. 25% damage could be really cool. Uh, super attack, god split cut, extreme damage, really whack actually. Never mind, that won't come in handy, that passive won't. And he lowers attack. Link skills are prodigies, cold judgment, dismal future, godly power, power bestowed by god, and fear and faith. Not really a good unit, I kind of like the artwork, it's alright. Um, but, eh, I mean, he's an SR, what do you really expect? Uh, last but not least, let's go ahead and talk about the trunks, and here you are. It's funny, he actually looks like the other agility trunks that, that's available. So this one is going to be the agility, trunks from the future, new mission it looks like it, the title is. Leader ability, super types, key plus one, HP attack and defense plus 20%, 25% up, whack. Uh, passive skill, super types, attack plus 25% up, so that's cool. There's a lot of units that are like that, that have that kind of passive, so that's kind of cool. Plus he has super saiyan, so uh, super attack, Gallic on extreme damage. For one turn, raise the attack by a large amount. I wonder how that's going to come to play. Does that mean he's going to be doing, like, supreme damage type of output because of that uh, passive? Link skills are Golden Warrior, Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Dismal Future, and Prepared for Battle. Again, basic Super Saiyan links that you're going to kind of want. Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, and Prepared for Battle. Those three are pretty damn decent. Royal Lineage can come into play if you have some Vegetas on the team. But overall, that's it. Um, and I think, yeah, that's about it. That's everything that I have here. I do want to talk about the Broly, so we're going to go ahead and jump back over to the Reddit post because the Broly information is here. Uh, let's go over here. There we go. So we have the Extreme Z Awakening for the TU, or for Broly, for the TUR variant of Broly, the OG Broly, that is. Um, you have to Extreme Z Awaken him seven times. Once you Z Extreme Z Awaken him, um, I guess it was just uh, five times, you get STR types, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 70% up, so it becomes a 70% leader. But... His passive skill, Extreme Z Awakening level 7, his own attack and defense was 80% up when attacking. That makes me believe that he no longer reduces his defense to zero. Though I don't know, it just says one attacking. Um, there's no other information here about that. So my assumption is going to be one of two things. It either means when he launches a super attack, it still gets reduced to zero. But if he's not, but if it's not reduced to zero, his attack and defense go up to 80%. Uh, I, the other thing is what I think it is, is just they're just removing that restriction from him altogether, and now he's getting attack and defense buff of 80%. Now, if you guys do have him and you do not have LR Broly and you've been waiting for someone to like do in the World Tournament, play within the World Tournament, well, hey, here you go. Do the bottom right do path. You've had multiple ch opportunities to get the Redstone. 
now you can do it. Especially with that attack and defense buff of 80%. Man, this Broly is going to be legit. Super attack. It looks like when you're at super attack level between 1 to 14, uses those mass damage to all enemies, which I believe is like almost the equivalent to extreme damage. I believe someone did the math and it's just like 5% off, maybe 10% off of extreme damage. Uh, but that's okay. Once you get into super attack 15, though, he does supreme damage to all enemies. And for three turns, he raises his own attack. So again, World Tournament, he's going to be really good when you get out to Super Attack 15 because of that supreme damage to all enemies. Uh, you will rarely use the three turn to raise attack in the World Tournament, but outside of that, I guess he could be a little bit useful. Um, let's see, you have to Z-Awaken him 30 times, just like you, or beat the event 30 times in order to get all the, the stuff for him. As you see over here, if you want to check out what the rewards are, you go ahead, feel free to. I'm just going to tell you, you get a lot of orbs, a lot of free orbs for this, and you get a whole bunch of Grand Elder Kai, so I would recommend doing that. Um, I really can't wait for this to come to the global side of Dokkan Battle. But anyway, again, thank you, Qualis on Z, for grabbing all this information for us. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. That's all the information. One thing I also want to state, um, just really shout out to Brooklyn Smash. Thank you for the information here. We have two two stones a day for the next six days, so just make sure you log in and grab that. I'm super hyped about all this information. I know I went over the 15-minute mark uh, that I said I was, I was trying not to go over, but I ended up doing it. I'm super hyped about this. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. I really love this artwork, man. This is so, so legit and so hype. Um, I think we will have this by March for Global Dogon Battle, for those of you who are wondering. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.